Uh, managing stress at the workplace, you know, a process. Mm. Uh, it's not a one of them. Even I even say example, no, it's fine. Yeah. But it should, it's, you don't do it once Minute and all problems are solved. Uh, what is very critical, uh, the, every workplace, they should have like the employee wellness mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. where they will actually have a register of the factors that are causing stress, stress. at the workplace. Mm -hmm. Because a it, basic sound from workplace to workplace, maybe work overload, maybe lack of communication. Sure. Employees don't hear anything from management. So you should have that uh, register. You talk to your workers, so what is worrying you? And then you decide the steps that you take to correct mm -hmm. those actions. Mm -hmm. Is it work overload? Okay, maybe ne next budget will include one or two people for you to mm -hmm. assist you. Is it a uh, job insecurity? Oh, no. Uh, the, this is how things are going. The company will be there. So you register these things, the factors, and then you assign responsibilities. Who is to resolve what? And then you give it timeline. So you solve the problem. Because you process. If you start and you don't finish, you might not achieve anything. Mm -hmm. And as uh, David said, there's a lot in it for employers and employees. As employers, I mean, it's your moral uh, responsibility. Uh, you do not want to harm. They be a young who don't be a pra or an etcetera and a neighbor, and then we think that's injury. But the mental or psychological mm -hmm. despair, mm -hmm. stress, is worse than the physical injury we yeah. are seeing. Yeah. So it's the moral responsibility of employers to make sure that their employees are protected all around, whether physically or mentally. Or mentally. And then uh, the, for the, uh, the production, I mean, if stress dominates at the workplace, production, productivity starts to mm -hmm. drop. Employers start to lose money because uh, with in, uh, if everything is fine, you see, you reap the benefits. Yeah. A happy workplace is a productive workplace. Sure. But when the people are under stress, slowly you see your money going away mm -hmm. because the people, are, they come to work presentism. Mm -hmm. They will be there, but they will not be mm -hmm. productive. Mm -hmm. And then legally, I mean, if somebody, if stress, the factors at the workplace impact so much on the person and causes some something like a permanent mm -hmm. disability. Mm -hmm. Now the person cannot work again. He's so he's in hospital at the time. It can be seen as a work-related illness. Yeah. And then legally, you might have to pay compensation for personal disease. Right. You get it. So the employers should try and put in the resources because first they will save a lot. Secondly, they will gain from it, as my my, my colleague yeah. said. That's and true. and then and then for the employees. They should avail themselves of the services or uh, at, it's not easy. First and foremost, it's not all stress that is bad because a bit of it is good for all of us. Mm. Because you need to stretch yourself and challenge yourself because if you can not, do this work, it may deliver results. Uh -huh, just keep ourselves challenged. But then if it's overwhelming, if the employee cannot handle, he should talk to someone sure. within the company or outside the company. And management should have open door policy mm. because maybe it's my supervisor at the workplace now. Uh, 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 mom stress. Mm -hmm. I cannot talk to him directly because he is a problem. Management should have the system for anyone to talk to anyone within a company yeah. at any level. Yeah. And, and yeah. that will resolve a lot of the problems. Fantastic.